Hey Calculus Rockstars! Today we're going to be talking about estimating instantaneous rate of change from tables of values. First, let's talk about some IROC notation. The instantaneous rate of change of a function f of x at a point x equals c is written using the notation shown here with the little tick mark. This is pronounced f prime of c. The IROC is also called the derivative in calculus. Okay, let's jump into an example problem. A rock star throws guitar picks out to the audience throughout a 100-minute concert. An observant audience member created a table that shows the total number of guitar picks that have been thrown to the audience at various times since the concert began. Estimate the instantaneous rate of change, the IROC, at t equals 60. Since we don't have an equation, we can only use values given to us in the table. So we're gonna use some of the methods that we learned about in the last video, left, right, and symmetric, using only the values in the table. Since we're trying to find the IROC at 60 and our function name is g of t, we're gonna be looking to estimate g prime of 60. Let's start with the right or forward AROC. Again, note that we're estimating the IROC by using an average rate of change we can say that g prime of 60 is approximately equal to g of 80 minus g of 60 over 80 minus 60, and that is equal to 0.55. Now, if we look at a left or backward average rate of change, we would have g prime of 60 is approximately equal to g of 40 minus g of 60 over 40 minus 60. That equals 0.20. For our symmetric average rate of change, we would have g prime of 60 is approximately equal to g of 80 minus g of 40 over 80 minus 40, and that gives us 0.375. Note that in all three examples, I'm using an approximately equal sign because we're not finding the exact value of g prime of 60. We're using various average rates of change to approximate g prime of 60. For all three calculations though, I forgot to include units. So let's see how we can figure out the units. Here, I've taken the data from the table and plotted the points on a graph. We can see that our y-axis is g of t and our x-axis is time. And our goal was to estimate the instantaneous rate of change at t equals 60. And so we're doing that by finding various slopes of secant lines. Here I've shown the secant line from the symmetric average rate of change. Let's recall, the AROC or average rate of change is the slope of a secant line, and the IROC or instantaneous rate of change is the slope of a tangent line. Since slope is rise over run, this corresponds to y units divided by x units. In our case here, that would be g of t divided by t, or number of guitar picks per minute. And now we need to wrap this up into a conclusion statement. Using the symmetric average rate of change as an estimate for the instantaneous rate of change at t equals 60, we can conclude that the rock star was throwing picks out to the audience at a rate of approximately 0.375 picks per minute at t equals 60. This idea of instantaneous rate of change might be a new concept to get used to. Here we're looking at a frozen moment in time, but we're asking about the rate. So it's sort of a paradox. We're looking at motion at a moment in time that's frozen. Okay, let's look at a variation on this problem. Suppose you need to estimate the instantaneous rate of change at t equals 30. Note that t equals 30 is not part of the data. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna use the best average rate of change that we can get from the data to approximate the IROC at t equals 30. So in this case, we're gonna use values of g of t at t equals 20 and t equals 40. So we can say that g prime of 30 is approximately equal to g of 40 minus g of 20 over 40 minus 20 or 0.15. And in conclusion, we can say that our average rate of change calculations show that the rock star was throwing picks out to the audience at a rate of approximately 0.15 picks per minute at t equals 30. And now let's summarize. To estimate an IROC when given a table, use data values from the table that are close to the point in question, then calculate the AROC between those points. And that's how you rock calculus.